Veritas ABCs, breaking the root mirror, also known as unencapsulating the root disk. The scope of this presentation is to provide information on basic concepts involved in breaking the root mirror. The audience for this presentation are people who are responsible for disk management, uh, sp specifically for Veritas on Solaris. VxDisk list is the command that you should begin with. VxDisk list will give you basic information about the disk that Veritas has under its control or are, is managing at the time. And this example, we can see that our VxDisk list shows us that we have a total of four disks in Veritas. We have one disk group, which is root DG and we have three disks in that disk group. Root DG01, 2, and 3. The third disk is marked as an online spare. VxPrint is a command that you use to gain more information on the volumes that is in a particular disk group. VxPrint, that command on its own will list the information on all the disk groups on your system. If you have many disk groups on your system, you may want to choose to use VxPrint minus G, which is going to list the information for a specific disk group. For the purpose of this slide, we've actually had to cut down the information that VX disk uh, VxPrint, I'm sorry, provides, simply because it wouldn't fit all on one page. However, we can see that there are three volumes in the root DG disk group. Home 01, home, uh, root vol 01, and swap file 01. Now keep in mind we've cut off information so there's also a home 02, root vol 02, and a swap vol 02. All these disk groups, all these plexes, I'm sorry, these are actually plexes, all these plexes are active. Plexes are basically a subdisk. The next step we would want to take is that uh, we actually want to remove the plexus from one of the disks because we have the intention of breaking the disk. But before we can not break the disk, but we have the intention of moving that disk out of the disk group so that we can break the mirror. In order for us to do this, uh, we actually uh, have to use the VxPlex command to remove the plexus. So the syntax is VxPlex minus G for group, RM to remove, DIS, and then we list the names of the volumes that we're going to remove. Uh, because we're removing the root DG02, we're going to remove all the volumes associated with root DG02. Also keep in mind that what's not in the slide is that there was an online spare. That will be removed as well, but it won't reflect that in the slides. After the plexes have been removed for 02, DG02, we want to use the VX disk ADM command. We select option 3 to remove the disk and that disk is going to be root DG02. Uh, if you are unsure, you could type, you can select the option to list the disk and then you get to uh, see that uh, root DG02 is there and then you just simply select the option to remove it. Follow all the necessary prompts and confirm and exit that menu system. After that task is completed, the next step is to go back and take a second look at VxDisk list to see what, uh, what volume man Veritas Volume Manager is doing with the disk you'll see that in this slide that it still sees the four disk however it and it still sees the uh, disk group root, root DG but the root DG02 has been removed and root DG03 has been removed but the disk group still exists because it still has the one disk root DG01 To finally break the mirror, we should run VX unroot. Uh, 
the output uh, should be similar to the one that you see on this slide at some point you will be asked to confirm the breaking of the mirror and it'll ask you to confirm several other things and then you'll have to reboot once you complete the task if you look in ETC VFS tab you'll see that the Veritas configurations have been removed it probably would have been a good idea to take a snapshot uh, in the earlier slide and show you the Veritas wrappers but we haven't done that so no big deal but just know that before in ETVFS tab instead of it being dev disk DSK so on and so forth there was a uh, VX disk uh, the devices as you devices as C1 T0 D0 were actually wrapped into the Veritas uh, containers so now that the root mirror has been unencapsulated that has uh, been updated. It, the ETC VFS tab has been updated. Now if we go back and do another VX disk list we can see that the root DG0 group is now gone. Uh, the disks are all still visible to Veritas but uh, I, at this point the yeah, at this point, you could consider that the uh, root mirror has been broken. We've reached the end of this tutorial. I would love to hear from you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please send me an email, busy386 at gmail.com. Thank you.